the one thing that black people must understand when they watch a dating show that puts them in the driver's seat is that if you are a supporter of interracial dating, you'll be quite pleased with what you see as the outcome. But if you are a black woman or black man that believes in dating your own, that believes in having black children, that believes in black love, period, you will always be disappointed. Case in point, South African bachelorette, okay? South Africa, the majority of people over there are black, like us. They don't call themselves black, but the majority of them are black, and the minority over there is white. You got this woman, and I think she may be biracial. I'm not sure because I didn't, you know, research, and I don't really care because I don't research bullshit like this. I just know from what I know, okay? She had the choice, and I talked about this before, I believe, in one of my videos. She had the choice of some black men, and they put some white men into the mix as well. These Afrikaners, these white men in there, okay? So, when it's down to the last two men to pick, do you think that she had a black, oh, excuse me, an African man? Two African men? No. She had no African men left. She has two white guys to choose from now. And I believe as of May 27th, which is of this recording that I'm doing this, it's supposed to be the last episode. So one of those white dudes she'll be choosing. You got South Africa putting on this woman as a representation of South African women. And she doesn't even look like she's fully South African. She looks like she's mixed, okay? And she's picking a white man to be with. Not surprised because most biracials do pick white. So that's not a surprise at all, but it's really pathetic in a nation where you have the majority of black people that even out there, you have them choosing white as their preference. This is, this is sad. This is just sad. And then you ask, some people ask why you keep doing these videos about interracial relationships. Anybody who questions me, you can go fuck yourself. Question those whores out there that keep pushing the agenda of dating out. Question those assholes out there that keep telling black dudes they need to fuck with women who are not black. Don't come to my channel and tell me what the fuck I need to talk about because I'll tell you this to your face as well as telling you on camera. I don't give a fuck about you. So if you don't like what you hear from me, fuck you. End of story. This is pathetic that black people keep doing this and I will keep on calling it out because it's fucking sad. How do you choose your own, I mean, put it this way, how do you as your own, as, and, and someone in your own community choose outside your community as your best option? How do you do that? In a country where you are the majority, you are picking someone who doesn't look like you, and you think this shit is great as a message? As I said before, it ain't ending racism. It ain't end racism before when it started. When a black woman got with a white man, or a black man got with a white woman, or a biracial was born, racism didn't end. Racism is still here. This shit does not end it. And this is a really pathetic and disgusting message to send out when you're in a country, or I should say, when you're on the continent over there of, of South Africa. South African people are like you and me who are in the black community. They look like us. They may not say they're black, but they look like us. And they're out here promoting this bullshit. That we're seeing enough of right here in this country of America that we're, that we're living in right now. This is sad, man. It really is. You got this chick, Rachel, right here, who was the very first black bachelorette in America. After all those seasons of the bachelorette being a white woman, you had a black woman for the first time becoming the bachelorette. If any black man out there thought that she was going to choose one of them, they are fool they are fools. But to be fair, and I'm not really trying to play devil's advocate here, but I guess I am. This woman Rachel here, I don't know her last name, I don't really care because I don't give a fuck about swirlers to begin with. I'm just making this point. She said that most of the black men that were chosen in that season that she was in never dated a black woman before. They dated white women. So the network you know, the network pretty much got black men put black men on this show on purpose they purposely put black men on the show with this first black bachelorette that never dated black women that never saw a black woman as their option 
Did she ever see a black man as her option? I don't know. But she said that she felt frustrated that most of the black men that she talked to when they had their private time said they never dated a black woman before. The network did this on purpose, okay? And then the outcome is that she chooses a white man as her, you know, as the guy that she gives the last rose to. Now I believe they're engaged or whatever, yada, yada, yada. I wasn't surprised when this happened because I knew this was going to happen. There, I don't, you know, I'm not going to say I don't know. Nobody wants to showcase black love. Nobody wants to showcase black love on television because they know they got white people watching. And as much as white people tell you that they accept black people in their society and this and that, they don't accept black love. They don't. They do not accept black love at all. They figured they would not get ratings. They wouldn't get as much ratings as possible if she chose a black man, if they showed any type of black love on a show like this. And lastly, you have Matt James, who I discussed before, and I believe Tori and Ray did, did an update video on uh, this dude. I talked about how he found out that this woman, Ray, um, I think her name was Rachel, too. I don't even remember. But he chose her, and then it comes out that she had a racist past or some shit. So he decided to break up with her. But now the motherfucker's back with her again because he's a fucking simp, okay? And he's biracial, okay? Even though he looks like he's black, he's biracial, so... Once again, not surprised that he chose white, okay? Not surprised at all. But, ladies and gentlemen, if you are looking for black people to choose black people on these television shows, you need to look elsewhere because they're never going to choose their own people. They're never going to showcase black love. They're always going to pick someone outside their race and majority of the time, it's always going to be someone that's white. You think I like watching shit like this? Hell no, that's why I don't watch it. And these black women will talk about how much they love black love, but they'll be sitting on here cheering fucking black women that are fucking with white men. You don't make no fucking sense. You shut your fucking mouth and don't say a goddamn thing. Don't complain about racism. Okay, here's it is. Here it is. Don't complain about racism when you're in an interracial dating situation. Don't complain about anything that affects black people because you are in that shit deep. You're over there with them. Stay with them. Don't complain about anything that affects black people. You have no fucking right. I don't give a fuck if you're black. You decide to get yourself in that situation with that person, you stay over there. Don't complain about racism. Don't complain about discrimination. Don't complain about shit because you're with them. So shut your fucking mouth. I'm tired of these goddamn swirlers. I'm tired of these motherfuckers, these bed broken bucks. I'm sick of them. They don't do anything but showcase how much of a slave they still are, how much of in shackles they still are, and they insult everyone in the black community that are not about this shit and that are all about black love and black progress. Nobody supports these motherfuckers and nobody should. The only ones that will support them are the ones that practice this slavery mindset, and that's all there is with it. It's disgusting that people do this shit. And I'm not hateful at all, so we kiss my ass. I'm sick of these people, and I'm sick of these shows that are showcasing people that look like us and some people that are us that are picking outside their community and not looking inside their community at their black men or black woman as their only choice. It is sad, it is disgusting, it is pathetic, and it is something that I will never ever support as a black man as a black person if it ain't about black love i don't give a shit about it end of story i'll talk to you guys next time i'm out peace take care i love you